read everyone with the peace of the Lord. <clears throat> you know, like to invite those who could at this time to kneel down so we can um, give it a start. To plead for the power of Jesus. We have no conditions to be in your presence. But clean us, O Lord. Clean us tonight so we can have access to your presence. Renew our fellowship. That we can leave this place tonight with one more experience in your We plead in the name of Jesus. Everybody can sit down. I be the name of the Lord. All the songs, all the honor, all the glorification might be given to the Lord because He's worthy. So the kids of the songs are also going to be glorifying the Lord. Jesus loves you.
glorify the name of the Lord. Uh, one of the kids can glorify the Lord. Bless my dad, bless my mom, my brother, bless my no, my Gabriele, bless my aunt, bless my grandma, bless Talita, bless everybody, bless Isabelle, Isabella, bless everybody, bless Chapin, Uncle, Uncle Paya, bless everybody, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Bless Benjamin, my aunt, aunt Gabriela, Benjamin, everybody, and the pastor. In Jesus' name, man. Que a oração das crianças nunca é para elas, é sempre para os pais, para os familiares. E Deus vê a sinceridade do coração. E é por isso que muitos lares. That's why many houses are still standing. That's why the churches were fine. Because the church is blessed by the prayer of one kid. Because that prayer is a sincere prayer. Your father, the name of the Lord.
this will be a little fun in the glory day. The Lord shown a man. It was your time. It was sad. You were estava, porque o Senhor já te renovou nessa noite. O Senhor já renovou sua vida. Toma posse na sua vida. So take over your blessing. And through this song, the Lord was renewing his hope, his projects. Believe that the Lord can do many things that you have planned. Let's keep going in the name of the Lord. church and those who visit us and those who are also connected with us uh, with the peace of the Lord I invite those who could to stand up for this time so we can read uh, the verse for tonight written in the book of First King uh, chapter 19 Only verse, only verse six. First King, nineteen, um, chapter nineteen, um, verse number six. <coughs> so. The brothers, uh, 
uh, has a Bible, please help those who don't have it. So everybody here can follow the 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 reading. Amen. The word the word of the Lord says the following. He looked around, and there by his head was um, the angel of the Lord came back in the second time and touched him and said, "Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you." So he got up and ate and ate and drunk. He strained by the food. He followed. Uh, 40 days and came back and sleep. Oh Lord, we ask for mercy at this time. And we ask that you might be speaking to us through your word. The only the revelation of your Holy Spirit could penetrate in our hearts. Repent everything that comes from man. That at this time, man could fall and that your Holy Spirit could take over what is yours. That is a word. We pray, asking for a blessing upon us. In our Jesus, Amen. The church may be seated at this time. So, my brothers, for us to be thinking tonight, we're gonna be talking a little about the history of Elijah. Elijah. So, Elijah, he was a, a servant of the Lord. He was a man of God noticeable so noticeable that in the New Testament as well the, the mentioning of his name when Jesus was asking oh who do you think I am and many many say oh, Elijah Elijah he was a noticeable man used to, in this episode Elijah through the hands of the Lord, he overcomes the prophets of Baal. Over 400, he kills every single one of them for the Lord. The Lord gave him this blessing, this victory, this grace, and Jezebel, the wife of um, Ahab. He he knows this his story that Elijah, through the hand of the Lord, he killed all the prophets of Laban. And Jezebel said, Oh, really? Ah, uh, so tomorrow, in this exact time, his head is gonna be over here. He's gonna be dead at this time. The word says that a messenger came to Elijah and said, Elijah, look, the lady over there, she wants to kill you. And Elijah, scared, um, a, a lot of kind, kindness, his life, he goes, he goes off to the desert. He didn't want to stay there to see the consequences. So Elijah goes, and the word says, in a path that took him a day, um, he finds himself in, in a little tree. He finds a sh uh, shadow, he sleeps. And there, he was, um, was feeling anguish because of all the pressure of Jezebel. He asked the Lord, Oh Lord, I'm not better than my fathers. Um, take care of my life. Take my life. Because um, there's no many. What does it matter if I defeat all the prophets from the enemy and I come all the way here and I'll die from the hands of Jezebel? The Bible um, tells us that he asks for his death and he asks, Oh Lord, take my life right now because I'm not better than my fathers. And the Bible says that he lays down under the tree and he sleeps. And an angel from the Lord comes and touches him and says, Get up and eat. And he, in the verse 6 that we read, he looks, 
and his head uh, goes right there he saw open his head he saw the bread he saw the, the, the water he eats drinks and he falls back again and the Bible says the angel came back for a second time and to him says get up eat drinks because long way will be the path and the Bible says that he got up he drank he ate and with the strength that he had from that food he walked 40 days and 40 nights and so, uh, upon the mount of Korea. Um, my loved ones, the Old Testament for us, it is prophetic. It is in the history. Everything is right with the history. But the Old Testament, it brings a uh, very pretty um, um, histories. We know everything that happened in the life of Israel and, and it makes prophetic announcement for us today, to us today in church. All the prophecies have been fulfilled and the only thing that we're waiting is for the, uh, the rapture of the church. And the Lord, and the Lord uh, wants to talk to us because he's, he wants to say something about the service tonight. He's seen a man that he's not upset, and he sees that the sadness took over his life. He got a um, renew his life when we were singing, "Who gave me water?" And there are other gifts that shows a lady that came up to the house of the Lord. And she came up with a lot of injuries. And right away, when she she got here, an angel from the Lord take her. Just like she had just came into a hospital, he takes her. He starts taking care of her injuries. And the biggest one that she had was in the heart, and a, and a part of her arm. That angel, he was um, operating her head, and throughout the service, the surgery was made, and she left here tonight, cleaned, cured, without any injury, and we know that this lady, she came, she came to the hospital with her injuries, the injuries, and many times talks about real injuries, like, a sense, many times sentimentals, words, situations that people sometimes find, find, uh, find themselves into and bring sadness. And the word says that Jezebel sent a messenger. It's a word, you know. How many times we, we hear a bad word? So a messenger from the part of enemy to the feeders. Oh, just saying. Oh, she's gonna kill you. Hey, look, is this? Is that? So it's the injury brings us uh, bringing bringing it to us the lack of fellowship, faith, trying to make us scared. And the word says that just about sent a messenger. Many times, it looks, uh, many times uh, the, the message doesn't come from the enemy. But sometimes it comes just like uh, you have a disease, there's there no cure. Or something that, bring, that gets to us and brings us down. And tonight, the Lord, He wants to bring us this hope, this joy. That is the last word. The last word always has to be from the Lord. It doesn't matter how many messengers it is in this earth. But if the Lord says something, He has the last word. So we didn't came um, from what we have seen. We, we came from what the whole Spirit has said. And the angel say He came, He saw it, and He left. And the Bible says, 
that we should escape from the princess of evil. Don't try to overcome. Take this battle to the Lord. Leave this. Go away from it. What's the struggle? I don't know. Everybody has theirs. So don't go against it. Leave it to the Lord. Just run away from it. Let the, the Lord work it out for you. Because He's faithful and He's here to do all things that He, He's here to do all things that He has that He has for us, all the plans. So He goes to the desert in one day. So He lays down on the tree. My brothers, um, I was reading uh, about a tree. This tree is Zing, Zing. It's uh, interesting. It has um, fruits. They're kind of sweet. And um, it takes care of pain if you make a tea out of it. Even though it, it can take care of um, respiration, oh. inflammation. It makes you calm as well. The fruit, the zingru. What does Zinglu mean? It shows. Oh, not the. Sim so, what does this Zimbo um, sh show us to us? It's a church. It's a Zimbo. It's the presence of the Lord among us. It is that thing that we can't come here um, feeling bad because just like this woman that came here hurt. And this man, he came here upset. He wanted to throw, throw his life. He just sat down on this tree, and he wants to do to you just like he did to Elijah. He wants to visit you. He wants to touch your life just like he did to Elijah. And this tree, it is the Lord. My brothers, you guys have no, no. You guys can't imagine how when the church gathers together. Oh, there's a mystery in there. The the word the Lord operates miracles, cures, all things that benefit to the symbol. The fruit, the sweet, the word that the Lord gives is sweet. It doesn't hurt. It gets into our hearts. And when we open our hearts, it is a tree that we are. Every Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sundays. Why uh, we're here because we need this. We need to be here to receive from the part of the Lord what is from the part of the Lord for us. And the Lord says that he, he got under the tree, he sleeps, but an angel from the part of the Lord comes and sees him. Your Father, in the name of the Lord. And that's what he does to us. So every time we gather together, the presence of Father, um, the Lord, um, shown as an angel, just like the sun, when he looks over and he sees the bread, could it be only bread? Yeah, but why was it baked in the fire? Those are mysteries from the Lord that the Holy Spirit uh, show us every day. So the, the bread will be the figure of the Lord. So when it's baked by the fire, that means uh, that's talking about the sacrifice. The sacrifice in the cross of Calvary in favor of my life, your life, in favor of the life of humanity. Not only a Jesus that came for the history of this earth, no, it's a Jesus that came and died for my life and your life to give you the blessing of salvation, to give us salvation and cure of life. To talk to us every day that we, we encounter ourselves in the industry. Tonight the Lord wants to visit, wants to bring the bread. It talks about the water. The man it vivifies the the Holy Spirit. So the Lord has a blessing of 
for the blessing of salvation to every single one of us. He wants to visit our soul. He wants us to leave this place cured. So if you came in here tonight with a necessity, put up on the Lord. He's here under the tree. And He's bringing it to you. The, the bread baked and fire and a cup of water for you to eat and drink and make yourself full. You know why? Because the walk haven't stopped yet. He needed to eat because he had to continue walking. And the Bible says that he eats, drinks, and sleep. Many times this is what happens. You receive a blessing or whatever your service, glorify the name of the Lord. And then the next day we are right there, sad again. Sometimes I'm on the messenger, and then we go back to sleep. And we go back to not have this responsibility, which the Lord has called us. But the Lord says that the, the angel came for a second time. Do you know why? Because the Lord doesn't give up on me, on you. He is not going to give up on you. Why? Because He loves you. He wants to take to eternity. He's going to do all things. So you could uh, get to the mount. And the word says, the angel says, uh, get up, eat, because um, very long will be the path. Very long will be your path. Get up. Get up, my brother. Get up, my sister. Take care of your blessing. What happened? Why did you stop? What happened that you had um, gifts and now you don't have any more? That you glorify the name of the Lord and now you don't. What happened, my brothers? You used to do early dawns and you don't do it anymore. Get up. It's not my word. This is the Lord saying. The Lord wants to use you. The Lord wants to use you a lot. A long way will be the path. If Jesus comes today, if Jesus comes today, there is no more time. If He comes tomorrow, the day after, way too long will be your path. He wants to, to come in the prophetic service and give us a gift and find you here. He wants you to wake up in the morning and pray for Him. Ask for Him. Ask Him. Elijah, He saw that I'm not worthy and the Lord visited him. This is what the Lord wants. But not here under the tree, but at our houses as well. When you want to pray, just close your door and pray. Pray to the Lord in silence because He's going to manifest Himself. He's the one that's going to exalt Himself publicly. You don't have to show anybody. Very long will be the path. So you used to pray before, and now you don't. Long, long will be your path. Take over. Pray. Talks about the Lord. Oh, but the Lord used to use me so long ago. Well, language, interpretation, tongues. But get up, because long will be your path. And the Lord says that he eats, he gets up, he ate and drank all the strength from that food. He walked 40 days and 40 nights until the Mount of Orena, the mountain of the Lord. We'll find the name of the Lord. There is a purpose, a purpose for us. The purpose for us it is the mountain. It is a matter of God. It is eternity. Many things will come in your path to take you away from this. But if you're under the, the tree, the direction from the Lord and the body, because the benefits it comes from the body, who is in the fellowship in the body, the Lord will visit. The Lord will take blood, water. 
just to finish it off. The word says that he worked for 40 days, 40 nights. And I was uh, meditating on this message and I said, oh, 40 days and 40 nights. Um, in the beginning, he walks one day, he got tired. And then he walks 40 days and 40 nights, non-stop. Oh, that's a mystery. And what the Lord wants to tell us tonight is that the man, when he's in his reason, he's out of the thinking from the Lord, he's disconnected from eternity. And one day he gets tired, and one day he gets tired, and one day, and one day he wants to give up, and one day he wants to leave his path from the Lord. But the, but the man that is under the tree, that receives all the sources from the Lord, that is in the revelation from the Lord, who walk non-stop 40 days and 40 nights, 40 times about the, the struggle, whatever struggle, whatever struggle happens, it comes, he walks just like a soldier, he walk with only one goal, the mountain, the mountain from God, the eternity, my brothers, tonight the Lord wants to talk to us, it is for us not to stop, continue, go forward. It doesn't matter what other people are saying, it doesn't matter what message received. Don't stop. Because tonight the Lord is bringing the bread, He's bringing the water, He's bringing all the sources. So you can continue walking 40 days and 40 nights, going through the struggles, fights, but glorifying the name of the Lord. Your Father, in the name of the Lord, the one that takes care of our life. Your Father, in the name of the Lord. To Jesus.
glorified in the name of the Lord. And by the peace of the Lord, let's stand up at this time. Let's have a word of glorification to the Lord. We glorify your name, O Lord, because, because you're wonderful with us, O Lord. Thank you for your hand that has been with us, that has been sustaining us in every struggle that we go through in our lives. We glorify your name, O Lord, because holy you are of all prayers. We thank you for your love, for, for your kindness with our lives. We thank you for everything. That's why we glorify your name, O Lord, for your kindness, because your kindness has been so good with us. Thank you because you've been with us, you've been sustaining us, you've been loving us. Thank you, Lord, because even though the the world the, the world has nothing to offer us, you you have you have loved us, you've been given us mercy. That's why we glorify you. We give you all glory, all honor. Thank you for all your love, for your kindness, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. My brothers, there was a vision that the Lord shown. It talks about the the woman that came here with injuries in her heart um, and, and arms. And, and the angel was um, making a surgery in her head. And this vision shows us um, how important it is for us to give value and the revelation of the Lord. The heart, the injured, it talks about the feeling. One man, he leaves. The feeling talks. The reason, what he thinks, well, he is blocking the revelation from the Lord. The surgery, she had a heart that was injured, a arm that was injured, but the surgery was made in the head. The head that talks about um, the, the government. So uh, it is from the head that comes everything from the for the movements and all things. For, from the Lord, it is what comes everything. So when man he blocks the revelation, he's not letting what the Lord can do for his life. He's limiting that. That's the case of Elijah. Elijah had a call from the Lord as a man using from the Lord. Uh, he gets scared. He gets upset. And now he stops. He blocks his call from the Lord. But from the glory but the, from the glory from the Lord the Lord is taking out from us this mentality of my I think I say I think this is how it's supposed to be done no this is not right since from the moment that we left since the moment that we left Jesus take care of our lives we have to listen to directions from the Lord also the word the spiritual gift there are people that don't even believe in the spiritual gift anymore. Who gave, who had the gift? Wait, was it was it that person? Was the other person? Do you think this gift is not? The word says that all those who um, who accept the prophet, the way the prophet is, the Lord blesses. If there is questioning, if there is questioning about the gift, that is because. The reason in your heart is speaking way louder, so be careful. So there are times that you could be blocking the things from the Lord, you're instrumentally. And another gift is talking about fellowship. So when we're in fellowship, we are seeking in the deep. We're looking deep for, for the Lord. So, when we have fellowship, the Lord protects us. Because the Lord is... Because we're walking in the revelation from the Lord. Everything can come. The tiredness, the, the will of God. 
but the Lord will give us the victory. The Lord will deliver us. He's going to preserve our lives. The Lord shown here. A man as well. Is that a, Lord, I need to be in fellowship with the Lord. Seeking experiences that would leave a mark in our lives. If we have experiences that will leave a mark, the doubts will speak louder. The reason will speak louder. Because we'll know that we are with Jesus. Amen. So let's pray, finishing the service. So if there's anybody later that needs a prayer, assistant, O oh Lord, and take this, this adoration from your people and take us in peace, O oh Lord, that we could leave this place renewed, that we could leave this place fulfilled with the Holy Spirit. Don't let us get a sad look to the difficulties, to the barriers, to all those things that many times the Lord is putting in front of us to take us away of our focus, our definition in you, that we could have uh, discernment, and we could be sensitive to hear your voice, to open everything, Lord, to open everything we could be we could be put in practice your will receive the revelation that we need and that we could have a night of rest in your presence so pray we do in your Jesus Amen in your name we say that the holy grace of our Savior Jesus Christ the love of our eternal Father the sweet eternal consolations of the Holy Spirit and the gifts the direction from the Holy Spirit could be put upon us and forevermore. Amen. The church may be seated. And tomorrow in the morning at 10.30, we're going to be here again to participate of uh, another Sunday school. It is in the Sunday school that the Lord has been uh, open uh, understanding about doctrine. The fellowship makes us understand about the doctrine. So that's why we are here every Sunday receiving this blessing from the Lord. So, praise the Lord to everybody. Meeting group B upstairs.